Hey everybody, my name is Rhino, and we will be starting a new Minecraft map series for Captive Minecraft 2. First thing that needs to be pointed out is this map will only work on the snapshot shot of 14W28B. It would probably work on a few earlier ones, but why would you want to run it on an earlier snapshot of a version? That is a pretty old version. That is pre 1.8. We're on 1.8.6 right now. We're about to go to 1.9. This is before even 1.8.0. But there was something that was broken in the creation of this map. So you can't go any further and expect it to work. Also, it's worth mentioning that we're doing Captive Minecraft 2 instead of Captive Minecraft 1 because the general gameplay is very similar but better in 2 than 1. Uh, 1's map is not anywhere as good as the map in 2 and it's it's very much that Captive Minecraft 1 was the first experiment. It didn't work. It was kind of buggy when I played it and missed some of the achievements we were trying to unlock. So 2 is where you should start. Uh, we will do 3, spoiler alert, and it is a significantly different game. So it kind of feels like 2 is really the first one, and 1 is the beta, and then 3 is the actual sequel. Let's get into it. Now I think Captain Minecraft, in my own personal opinion, is a great map to do for new players. Because it is very possible that new players could get on Minecraft, a Minecraft world, and just run around and not learn some of the basics. Just not understand or ever figure out some of the basics. And there are some things that the achievement system has you do that mo a lot of players might not ever do, me included. And by adding this wall, this world border feature, into the game with Captain Minecraft. It can limit you. You can see right now I am definitely limited. I cannot go anywhere outside this one block and I've been told by the instructions not to break these quartz blocks because that's where the rewards will show up and they might not show up if I break them. So I can't punch or break anything. All I can do is look at our achievements and the achievements are the things that are going to expand the world border. Normally a world border is about a thousand blocks, just big enough to keep people in the in their places. We have all of these achievements available right now. I think if I did any of them out of order it would still count. Uh, so I don't think you have to actually follow this road if you can see them. Now there are more that you can't see uh, as far as achievements and I don't believe you can do those until they're exposed but the very first one is taking inventory it's real simple press E to open your inventory I could see somebody spending five ten minutes playing in Minecraft and not realize that they could look at their inventory or press a button uh, it's not like there's a pop-up or a uh, in-game tutorial as soon as there's a new player on a map. So let's do it. Let's press E and take inventory. Achievement get. Taking inventory. Alright. So it says. Right of all has increased the world border by taking that. And all of a sudden now the world border is half a block wider. Or technically one block because it goes half one way and half the other. So I can actually start doing some things. Now I can hit the sand. This red sand in this mesa biome that we're in. Which was new to 1.8. It's very colorful. Uh, our next achievement is getting wood. Attack a tree until a block of wood pops out. Well, I don't see any trees in this desert, and I guess the only thing I can do now is 
punch the sand. Now I feel safe to punch the sand. It just said don't punch the quartz block. Uh, notice it goes red when we are halfway out of this, but it's not hurting us or killing us or anything. It's just warning us. Sand has the ability that it falls down in Minecraft, so hitting the bottom one is perfectly fine. It, the others will just fall. So we're making a little stairway here around the quartz block, working our way down. We can see there is some, I think the sustained clay here. Uh, so in comparison to Captain Minecraft 1, you would be hitting, instead of sand, which is easier to break, you would be punching dirt, which is a, takes a little bit longer to break with when you don't have tools. Um, and you would just be digging through what is was a considerable amount of dirt and stone uh, and really nothing else. Whereas we are about to hit something. I feel it in my bones that is going to definitely be different from what Captain Minecraft presented us. There we are. We can see there's stained clay here, not sand. So let's, before we hit that stained clay, show we've got the stairs only up to this point, <laughs> unfortunately. We, as we went around in circles, we made the stairs smaller, but that's all right. This is stained clay, it takes a little bit longer to break. And all of a sudden, we're in the room of monuments. Dun dun dun, with a nice overlay. So, there was no room of monuments in Captain Minecraft 1. There was nothing at all. It was dig down till you saw, found, ran into the first cave and fought a bunch of creatures. Then dig down a, a little bit more till the next cave till you fight a bunch of creatures. Then dig down some more till you uh, hit another cave and, till, and fight a bunch of creatures. And it was pretty deadly fights each time. And there was not a lot going on as far as below the surface in Captain Minecraft 1. This fixes that a lot. We have a room they have custom made of monuments that we'll have to figure out what they want us to do. We also have a chest here, and we're given a sword, a stick, a wooden shovel, a wooden pickaxe, and four gold nuggets and some clay. So all of these have very little uses on them. Looks like I might be able to use the sword a couple times. The pickaxe looks like it's only going to be able to use once. Um, the stick is not, doesn't have the ability to be used up or anything like that. So we might as well, we could hit this and get that chest, we might as well. But we need the tree. And we don't have a tree. So where are we going to find a tree? We're going to have to figure that out next time. That's going to be the end of this episode. I end all my episodes the same way. I ask you to like this video. I ask you to share it with your friends. I ask you to subscribe to my channel. I ask you to comment if you want to, and I ask you to watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me, which would be greatly appreciated, as I am a new YouTuber and this is my only job, 
you can click on my name righto and on the right will be a blue button that says support this channel just click that and make a donation any little amount would be greatly appreciated if you want a friend or favorite me on basically any social media site there's going to be a whole bunch of links down below in the description to different sites please please whatever site you're on friend follow it will help you find my new episodes and it will help me with those services uh, I'm going to release this every Monday through Friday so there will be a new ex episode in the next work day uh, so stay tuned for that and it will probably be a little bit longer than this episode and then I always love to end my episodes by saying thank you for watching and have a good evening